the first thing that we will do is we're going to revise what carboxylic acids were. Carboxylic acids uh, had the following functional group. The functional group present in all carboxylic acids. And that group was C double bond O. And there's an O H attached. And this here would be the rest of the carbon chain, which I'm representing, representing by R. So um, this is the functional group that would be present in all carboxylic acids. This one, particularly over here. So this functional group is present in all carboxylic acids. Another way to write uh, the same functional group is that you re represent uh, this C double bond O and OH by C O O H. So that's a compressed version of the same functional group if you don't want to show all the bonds. Or uh, it's also sometimes shown as R. That's the carbon chain. And then that's. Uh, Instead of writing two O's uh, twice, you just write a small two with next to O showing that there are two oxygen atoms. So these are the three representations of this uh, functional group. And uh, every carboxylic acid is going to have these functional groups. So let's um, think of a carboxylic acid. Let's uh, talk about propanoic acid and let's see what the structure would look like. So propanoic acid, I'm going to draw propanoic acid. Prop means that there are going to be three carbon atoms. So I'm going to draw one, two, and three carbon atoms. And there's going to be a carboxylic acid functional group. And I'll complete the rest of the molecule by drawing all the hydrogen atoms to complete all the bonds. So these are all the bonds. This carbon needed three more, so it's ma I'm making three more bonds. So this is propanoic acid. Uh, why? Because it has this function group. Uh, remember one more thing that the function group is always going to be at the ends of the carbon chain. You cannot have it in the middle because uh, in the middle uh, it would be very hard to actually complete the bonds because carbon is going to make four bonds. So if you draw this function group in the middle, uh, then the uh, number of uh, bonds cannot be completed. So carboxylic acid function groups are always at the ends of the carbon chain and they could be uh, one carboxylic acid function group or they could be multiple carboxylic acid function group let's uh, think of a more complicated molecule let's uh, let's uh, try and draw a more complicated carboxylic acid so uh, i have a carbon atom and there's a carboxylic acid functional group to the right of the carbon atom and then let's say uh, there's a CH3 branch and then there's another carboxylic acid function group to the left. Now if you look at this molecule then this uh, molecule has has two functional groups, two carboxylic acid functional group. One is to the right and one is to the left of the molecule. So so this molecule contains two carboxylic acid functional groups, uh, one to the right and the other one is to the left. So you can have many complicated uh, molecules which can have more than one carboxylic acid functional group. So the thing that you need to look out for is this particular group of atoms arranged in exactly the same way. A lot of mistake is made when you uh, draw the same functional group to the left. You have to draw a mirror image. Most of the people get the OH wrong. Remember when you draw the OH over here, remember that oxygen is the one that's making two bonds. So oxygen should be between carbon and hydrogen. It should uh, look like oxygen is making two bonds. Hydrogen is always at the end. So whenever you flip um, this functional group to the other side, remember to draw the OH group correctly. Carboxylic acids are very weak acids. Almost all organic acids are considered to be very weak acids. Now the first thing that we need to uh, recall is what an acid is. An acid, and there are many different definitions of what an acid is, and the most commonly used definition is that acids uh, are proton donors or they produce, in other words, they produce 
H plus 1 ions. And they generally do that when they are in aqua state, when you dissolve them in water. So, so carboxylic acids in a similar way, they end up producing H plus 1 ions when you dissolve them in water. And uh, let's um, think of, uh, of the simplest carboxylic acid. Uh, you have, I'm drawing ethanoic acid, which has two carbon atoms. So there's going to be a carboxylic acid functional group. And uh, let's show all the bonds. Now, when I dissolve this in water, what's going to happen is that uh, it's going to break down, it's going to ionize, it's going to dissociate, and it's going to produce an H plus 1 ions. Now, you have uh, many uh, hydrogens in this. There, there's uh, this hydrogen, there's this hydrogen, there's another hydrogen, and there's this hydrogen over here. So, you have all these hydrogens. Now, remember one thing that, uh, let's move that. Now remember one thing, all these hydrogen atoms, uh, only a few are actually going to dissociate. And the ones that are going to dissociate are part of this function group. So it's always the hydrogen atom, which is part of the carboxylic acid function group that breaks up. And you're going to uh, learn uh, the mechanisms in detail in A-levels, why it does that. In O-levels, just remember that it's, it's the H or the hydrogen atom in the carboxylic acid function group that always breaks up. Nothing is going to happen to all the other three hydrogen atoms in the molecule, or if it were a bigger molecule, then nothing is going to happen to all the other hydrogen atoms. It's always the functional group hydrogen atom that breaks up. And uh, it breaks up, it dissociates or ionizes. And what happens is you're left with ions. Uh, let's redraw the molecule. That's double bond O. And now that hydrogen atom has dissociated. So we're going to write a minus one charge because that hydrogen atom loses one electron and forms H1 plus ions. So what's going to happen is that this OH group that broke down and it produced an ion, it produced two ions. One was H plus one and the other one was O minus one. And uh, if this is called ethanoic acid, then this ion over here is called an ethanoate ion. So um, to name the ion, you must know that uh, the suffix changes to O8. Instead of Oic, instead of ethanoic acid, once that H plus 1 has dissociated, that suffix changes into uh, ethanoate. So you call this ion ethanoate ion. So all carboxylic acids, irrespective of how complicated they are, the carboxylic acid functional group is going to break down. It's going to produce uh, an H plus 1 ion and, uh, the, and the oxygen is going to get a minus 1 charge when, when the H plus 1 leaves it. So that's how uh, all carboxylic acids are going to dissociate. Let's do another example of methanoic acid. So methanoic acid has uh, just one carboxylic acid function group. So let's call that C double bond O. And you have uh, OH, that's the function group of carboxylic acids. And there's going to be one hydrogen atom here to complete the bond. And this carboxylic acid is going to break up and it's going to ionize and remember which hydrogen atom leaves it's the one in the OH so the O gets a minus one charge that H remains in its place and that H plus one it forms H1 plus ions it leaves so this is how methanoic acid is going to dissociate one other way of uh, uh, of writing this in compressed form is let me first clear this uh, Let me rub this off. So one other way of writing the same thing is in compressed form. So in compressed form, this would be called uh, CH3. And this group would be called C double O H. And this is going to ionize and it's going to form. It's going to form CH3 and C double O. 
वन माइनस एन एच प्लस वन इज प्रोड्यूस सिमिलरली फॉर मेथोनिक एसिड दिस वुड बी एच सी डबल ओ एच एंड दिस आयनाइज एंड प्रोड्यूस एच सी एंड द टू ऑक्सीजन सो एंड दे हैव अ वन माइनस चार्ज एंड इट्स गोइंग टू प्रोड्यूस एच प्लस वन आइन सो दैट्स दैट्स द कंप्रेस्ड वर्जन of the same thing so there are two ways of writing uh, down carboxylic acids and one is uh, the displayed formula or we, or the structural formula where you show all the bonds and the other one is this compressed form of representing the exact of the exact same thing the last thing that we need to uh, uh, define is what is meant by the term by the term weak acid so we've uh, we've previously discussed what an acid is and we've shown that an acid produces h plus 1 but we haven't uh, discussed what is meant by this term weak acid so we need to define what a, what a weak acid is now a weak acid is uh, is an acid that produces h plus 1 but it only uh, partially ionizes or dissociates we can also call the word use the word dissociates partially dissociates ionizes and produces fewer h plus 1 ions fewer h1 plus ions so a uh, weak acid is going to partially ionize dissociate and produce fewer h plus 1 ions compared to a strong acid which is going to fully uh, dissociate or ionize what that means is that if i have if i have 100 molecules of this so let's say i have 100 molecules of this carboxylic acid then only uh, very few of this carboxylic acid are going to actually break down so let's say um, five molecules end up breaking down and they produce five molecules of they produce five molecules of h plus 1 so out of 100 we had a 100 initially only five molecules actually ended up breaking up so 95 remain intact so uh, what that means is that it's not fully ionizing only very few molecules are actually doing that so uh, very few h plus 1 ions are produced and that is called a weak acid a strong acid is one which fully ionizes when it fully ionizes so if you have 100 molecules of this carboxylic acid then 100 are going to break down and they're going to produce 100 molecules of h plus 1 so all of them are going to break down but in the case of a weak acid very few molecules actually break down most of them remain intact they don't ionize they don't dissociate they don't break down very few actually do that so we cast partially ionizes dissociates and produces fewer h plus 1 ions and uh, since it's producing fewer h plus 1 ions its ph is always um, close to the ph of such an acid is close to 7 uh, or you can say it's uh, between 4 to 7 7 is the neutral point 7 is uh, is is uh, the ph of water it's neutral so acids have a ph of less than 7 uh, if it's a strong acid the ph is close to 0 if it's a weak acid the ph is close to 7 so it's it's probably between 4 and 7 for carboxylic acids